Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm here near the Flatiron Building with a very special guest and a good friend of mine, Mr. Zachary Quinto. How are you, Zach? I'm really good, Billy. How are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for being here. So happy to be here. I'm very happy you're here. Now, you're having a very big year. You're one of the stars of American Horror Story this year. There's a new Star Trek coming out. As many of you may know, Zach plays Spock in Star Trek. Never seen it, but I heard great things. Now, how is American Horror Story this season? Tell me about that show. It's a big hit show. It's a very scary show. It looks very scary. Is it scary on set? Um, it's very scary. Very scary. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a, it's a concrete, basically, asylum that we are in every day, so it's a little bit oppressive. It's crazy. It's crazy! It is crazy. Now, you know, I don't, I've never seen the show, because you can't watch everything. That's unrealistic. But already in your career, you've worked with some amazing actors, Jessica Lange, Chris Pine. Now tell me, what is it like to work with Jessica Lange every day? Did you see her on the Emmy Red Carpet? She had her sunglasses. Sunglasses, yes. She can pull that off. And no I, one else can do Anybody that. else can. Anne Hathaway did that, I'd punch her in the vagina. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. But Jessica Lange, it looks good on her. You got married. Are you happy for her? I'm thrilled. Remember when she was dating the CEO from the Vatican? She thought it was the CEO from the Vatican. Who wouldn't believe that? What a moron. Now look, no, I love Anne Hathaway. I love her. I can't wait till she wins an Oscar. Are you in that movie Argo? <laughs> in that movie Argo. I oh, that's too bad. What? I auditioned. Really? I didn't get it. Ben Affleck had the nerve not to cast you? He did. My God, he did it, Jennifer Lopez, for God's sake. I'm trying to smile, but I'm... You can't, you're, you feel upset about it's it. It'll be a good movie, I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it's great. Who took your role? Brian Cranston, <laughs> ass <sighs> Anyways, all right, Zach, get back into this. Get back into the shot. Here we go, Zach. Now it's time to play a very big game. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. We're gonna play a game I like to call It Gets Better or Better Off Ted. I'm gonna give you a quote, Zach, and you have to tell me if that quote, it's an actual quote, is from one of the It Gets Better videos or, for, or from the short-lived sitcom Better Off Ted. Right, right. Okay, here we go. Put time on the clock, please. It Gets Better or Better Off Ted. And away we go. When you do care, you care 100 and crazy percent. It gets better. No, better off Ted. Come here, Zach. If you tell anyone I did you a solid, I will tear off your head and tinkle in your skull. Better off Ted. Yes, correct. I got called queer a lot. <laughs> it gets better. Yes, correct. We got to dispel this myth that bullying is just a normal rite of passage. It gets better. Yes, correct. Oh, God, we have unhappy Germans. Nothing good has ever come from that. Better off Ted. Yes, correct. Neil Patrick Harris here. <laughs> Come on, Zach. It gets better. Yes, correct. I just buy expensive shoes made from very soft animals. Better off Ted. Yes, correct. You may be thinking, what does Tim Gunn understand about my anguish? It gets better. Yes, correct. I don't take the high road, Ted. The high road leads to Pansy Town. Better off Ted. Yes, correct. The only gay people I ever saw were waiters. It gets better. Yes, of course, that was Andy Cohen. Oh my gosh, I have so many stories, I don't even know where to begin. It gets better. Yes, correct. Did he get it? Yes, you win, Zach. Yes, you win. It gets better and better off Ted. Let's see his prize. Oh, it's a caricature of Anna Paquin. <laughs> That's beautiful. Look at that. Let's let let's have let. That's the best prize you've ever given on yes, your show. It's amazing. Look at her. Let's get a close-up of that. She has that space between her teeth where I'm gonna be giving acting lessons starting in September. Oh, Zach, all right, thanks for coming on Billy on the Street. We'll watch you in American Horror Story and the new Star Trek coming out when? May 17th. Oh, who cares? All right, fine. It really does get better. Oh, it does. It does get better. It gets better. What's it called? Star Trek Into Darkness or something? Darkness, yeah. Okay, yeah. Great. All right, thanks. Thanks for being here, Zach. You're a great guy, a good friend of mine. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Billy Eichner, and this is Funny or Die's Billy on the Street, a music and pop culture game show. Now, before we get to this week's three-round game, let's hit the streets and play a game I like to call for a dollar. Here we go. Sir, for a dollar, don't you dare say Instagram. What? What? For a dollar, don't you dare say Instagram. Instagram? No, you lose. Miss. Miss, are you watching that new Jennifer Love Hewitt show, Judge Titty? No, I'm sorry. I... So good. <gasps> I will, I will. She's a great actress. Oh, okay. I'm Italian and I... So? No, you're right. I should... Exactly. Sit, but I'm, I'm moving, actually. Boxes. Is boxes! Boxes, I'm moving. Do you have I bubble wrap? I don't have the TV anymore. Of course. Oh, I... Of course you do. No expense has been spared. Sir, do you love Leonardo DiCaprio? What? Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. You love him? No. Why not? He's okay. For a dollar, who do you like better, Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio? Neither. Why neither? 
They don't turn me on. Who turns you on? A friend of mine sent me a val put a valentine. Yes. Right? I'm so glad I'm hearing this story. And with a piece of chocolate, he must have given out 30, he must have given out 300. Such a good story. And it had a picture of Superman on it. I love Superman. And he said, and it said on the thing, may you have a super Valentine's Day. Oh, brilliant. In other words, if I'm going to find someone, it's going to be from another f galaxy. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sir, for a dollar, what would you say to John Hamm's penis if you could? What would I say what? What would you say to John Hamm's penis if you could? I don't know who that is. John Hamm from Mad Men? Is that a TV show? <sighs> this is what we said last season. No black people watch Mad Men. I guess I'm one of the black people then. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me ask you another question. Sir, are you as exhausted by Nicki Minaj as I am? No, I think she's actually talented. No, she's talented, but it's I'm th the look. No, you're right, but that's what music is. It's, 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 I mean... What are we going to do? You're going to replace... You're going to replace Michael Jackson. No, you're probably never going to replace Michael what? Jackson. What? You're never going to replace Michael Jackson. Never. Ugh, can, I, can I just be honest? Yeah, it's sure. Thought to be. He was the weirdest person uh, that's exactly. ever lived. But we like his music, and that's what it's, that was, that was, bleh, that's what it's about, his music. <sighs> about his, like, you know, you look like a nice guy, comedian. I can't judge you about what you like behind clothes. I'll tell you exactly what I like. <laughs> Seven Indian women surrounding me. OK. And How old are they? what? How old are they? The youngest one is 67. <laughs> OK, that's nice. You like Christina Aguilera? She can sing. Yeah, I don't really uh, think so, uh, though. A lower version of Madonna. Ugh, lower? No, that's that's offensive to Madonna. Well, she's like Madonna's like sewer rat. If Madonna kept a sewer rat as a pet, that would be Christina Aguilera. That's not really a good singing voice. It's like. Oh. <laughs> Going to the club. That's not a good voice. So who sings well? Pink. pink I like pink. I put pink out. Excuse me? I put pink out. What does that mean? I was working for Bad Boy Entertainment. Yeah. Oh, I love pink. Yeah. But this is like behind the music. Yeah. Can you give me any scoop on what it was like to work with pink? Well, I didn't work her on that. Oh, person. God oh. damn it. Miss, for a dollar, who's the worst person? I think it would be whoever's asking for the dollar. Huh? I think it's whoever's asking for the dollar. Me? No, you're offering it. It's somebody who comes up to you and asks for the dollar. Oh, like a homeless person? Or, or, or me. Give me the dollar. OK. You sleep with this guy? I do not, no. OK, that's good. OK, guys, somebody wake up Sherry Shepard. It's time for Quizzed in the Face. Remember, the final round is subjective. So for a contestant to win, we have to share the same opinions about pop culture. Let's play. Sir, sir, want to play Quiz in the Face? You can win money right now. What's your name? I think I got caught out some, but uh, my name is Epi. You got what? Um, my name is Epi. Epi? Yes. I'm Billy. Hello, Billy. Hi, Epi. What's up? Hi. Remember Opie? Ron Howard played him. Ron Howard, yeah. You know, and, and, uh, Andy Griffith. Yeah. Yeah. Opie and Epi. Opie, Epi. Maybe he's just his cousin. I don't know. OK. Here's how it's going to work. If you get two questions wrong, you're out. If you need help answering a question, we can beg a stranger, we can ask an Asian, or I can scream the answer from down the block. Do you understand, Epi? Let's do this. OK, let's do it, Epi. What do you do in New York? I'm a mechanic. Oh, wow. Cars and stuff? Cars and stuff and everything else. OK, great. And where do you live? I live in, in 28th Street on the east side. Oh, wow. Very nice. Bay. Kips Bay here in Manhattan. You go to the Kips Bay Movie Theater? I go to the Kips Bay Movie Theater and everything else. That's fun. Are you married, kids, or? Well, I was married until uh, we oh. fired each other. Oh, what happened? As life goes on. Yeah, what happened? She was good. Just didn't work? Well, I did uh, well anyway. You cheated. You cheated. We all cheated. OK. All right, here we go. Epi, I'm pulling for you. Round one, question one. In the classic song by the police, who do they say doesn't have to put on the red light? A, Alex, B, Roxanne, C, David, D, Rachel Dratch. I think it's David. David, are you sure, Epi? I believe if I remember right. OK. It comes a little, you know, fuzziness. Right, well, what's your answer? Alex, Roxanne, David, Rachel Dratch. David. David. David, you don't have to put on the red light, you think, was the song. I believe so. OK, the correct answer is B, Roxanne, not David. I, I, I messed up. Yeah, you did, but you're still in the game. Remember, if you need help, we can beg a stranger, I can ask an Asian, or I can scream the answer from down the block. Do you understand, Epi? Yes. OK, here we go. Are you dating anyone right now, or? Uh, yeah, but you know, yeah, she, yeah, I am. 
Okay. She's in Connecticut. I'm in New York for now. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, long distance. Easy. Better, maybe. I could cheat easier. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Very nice. Here we go. Question two. What is the name of the interview show on Lifetime produced by Demi Moore and featuring ladies of all ages, but mostly over 45, talking about sex, sexuality, private parts, and feelings? A, the chew. B, the conversation. C, the situation. D, the abyss. I thought it was Cougar. Huh? I thought you had Cougar on there. You don't have... No, I didn't have Cougar on there. You're thinking of Cougar Town, which is on TBS now. The Abyss, then. The Abyss. The Abyss. You think the show about 45-year-old women talking about their lives is called The Abyss? Yes. OK. Are you sure? I'm going to go with that. I'm sure of that. You want to beg a stranger? You want to ask an Asian person? It's a stranger. OK, we're going to ask a stranger. We need a stranger. Epi, take my oh, hand. Take your hand. Epi, let's go. Epi and I running down the street like lovers do. Yo, like oh. love. <laughs> It's okay. Well, they just like buddies do. Yeah, well, yeah, buddies with benefits. Sir, sir, Epi needs help answering a question. What's your name? Francisco. Francisco. Oh, okay, all right. Francisco. Epi, Francisco, Francisco, Epi. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, okay, there we go. Here's the question. Epi needs help answering this question. Here we go, Francisco. What is the name of the interview show on Lifetime produced by Demi Moore and featuring ladies of all ages, but mostly over 45, talking about sex, sexuality, private parts, and feelings? A, the chew, B, the conversation, C, the situation, D, the abyss. C, I think it's C. He says C, the situation. You said the abyss. What do you think, Epi? I'm going to go with his, what, what he said. OK. C, the situation. How gay are you, scale of 1 to 10? 10. 10. OK. The situation, you're going to stick with it? I'm going to stick with it. The answer is B, the conversation. You're out of the game, Epi. No help, Francisco. What show is this? This is Billy on the Street. Oh, OK. I'm sorry, Billy. OK, bye. bye. Goodbye. Of course, Francisco. Sorry, Epi. You're out of the game. But anyway, hey. Good luck that. with your girlfriend and cheating and cheating and everything. OK. Corruption and all. But yeah, I great. Have bye, Epi. Bye. There he goes. Bye, Epi. Bye, Epi. There he goes. Bye, Epi. Bye, Epi. There he goes. Bye, Epi. Bye, Epi. Up. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. All right. That's Epi. Sorry, Epi. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. You know, one of the most exciting things about having a TV show is that sometimes, if you're very lucky, you get to have celebrities that you've admired for years make an appearance on your show. And today I am delighted to say that some of my favorite reality show stars are here. I'm talking about the one and only Kim Kardashian and her sister Chloe and her mother Kris Jenner, which is insanely exciting to me. And not only that, but since the Grammys and the Oscars are coming up, we thought we'd take a break from the on the street games and present a very special fashion show featuring the Kardashians as our models here to show us some of the most glamorous fashions you'll be seeing on the red carpet this season. And here with me to discuss these red carpet trends is my friend, stay-at-home fashion expert and mother of none, Julie Klausner. How's it going, Julie? Great. I'm so excited to talk fashion and so excited that the Kardashians are here. I'm a huge fan. Yes, same here. Okay, let's get right to it. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Here with our first look is the one and only Kim Kardashian! Come on out, Kim! Oh, there she is! Wow, she looks amazing! Hi, Kim! Wow, look at those earrings. Those are gorgeous. So, Julie, tell us a little bit about what Kim is wearing. Of course, Kim is in head-to-toe, made-to-order, Badgley Mishka. What I love about this dress is that it's a little rock and roll, but at the same time, it's high fashion. I see a high-waisted pleat dress. I see a bold, structured bodice. And I also see a blue ribbon that one wins when coming in first place. And the makeup is very simple, I see. Yes, Kim is taking a subtle approach here. And mazel tov on your baby, Kim. And we should mention that today, the Kardashians are being escorted down the runway by their publicist, Sheila Myers. And just so we don't leave anything out, Kim's jewelry is by Fred Layton, and she's not wearing shoes. Right. And you know, Kim Kardashian is not only a beautiful woman and a very successful businesswoman, but she's also a fashion icon. Yes. Oh, and I just found out that Kim will be playing a role in the new Tyler Perry movie, which I think will be the greatest movie since Philadelphia. Thanks so much for being here. So honored to meet you, Kim. And next up, we have the star of Chloe and Lamar, Kim's big sister, the always fabulous Chloe Kardashian. Oh, oh hello, Chloe. Great to see you. Chloe stormed out, so excited to be on the 
runway today. Oh. Wow, Chloe. Holy hell, tell us what Chloe is wearing. Chloe is wearing a beautiful, very chic dress made by the geniuses at Marquesa. Beautiful. And what's great about Chloe is that she's always strong, but she's also very feminine. You she can, doesn't. You can see that. You can see that she's feminine. I mean, that is a woman. That's right. Ladies, you don't have to go out and buy something just because you saw it in a magazine. Wear what works for your body and your shape. And what's amazing about this dress is that it looks simple, but the details. Exactly. There's a drape that looks really flattering with her, you know, admittedly unique figure. Well, this is a much more mature Khloe Kardashian Absolutely. than we've ever seen. Absolutely. She's got the confidence of two women stuffed into a dress. And the other thing I love about Chloe is that she's not afraid of color. No, she loves asparagus. She's neither afraid of color nor asparagus. One thing you don't know about Chloe until you meet her is that she loves to sniff the ground. So those rumors were true. Exactly. I heard that's how she met, um, is it Lamar? Lamar, yes, of course. Chloe is married to basketball player Lamar Odom. Good for both of them. Chloe, no, oh, 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 Chloe is eating one of her earrings. That is Which so is very on trend for spring 2013. Isn't that just like Chloe? She always switches things up when you think you know what to expect from her. That's... She'll go and eat one of her chandelier earrings. She seems very hungry. And then sometimes Chloe is still. Up, oh, we're having a bit of a wardrobe malfunction as I just saw Chloe's penis. And Chloe is being pulled away. Because Thank you, Chloe. Bye, Chloe. It was great to see you, Chloe. Oh, when she leaves, you can see that she's really a Kardashian. And finally, we are thrilled to have with us the matriarch of the Kardashian clan, Kim and Chloe's mother. Come on out, Kris Jenner. Oh, oh, look at her. Hello, Kris Jenner. We love you. Best she's ever looked. And she's wagging her tail because she's happy, Julie. I'd be happy, too, if I looked so great in an Ellie Saab leopard print dress. Yeah, and there's a, a, a hole in the back of her dress which allows her to defecate. Sure, yes, that's mostly for defecation, but it's also playful. She's a great parent. Truly. Oh, and there she goes. Thanks, Chris, we love you. Thanks for being here. Unfortunately, Julie, we have to wrap it up. But before we go, let's take a look back at some of our favorite looks from today. Kim Kardashian and Badgley Mishka. Oh, stunning. Khloe Kardashian and Marquesa. So beautiful. And Kris Jenner and Ellie Saab. She's so brave. And a quick shout out to the other Kardashian sister, Courtney, who wasn't really worth the price of an additional Wrangler. Thanks, ladies. We'll see you on the red carpet. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, it's Billy. I'm here at the Fly Iron Building in Manhattan with a very special guest, an amazing actor and friend, Zachary Quinto. How are you, Zach? I'm great, Billy. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for being here. Zach and I are going to run around this building right now in a game I like to call it Spock. Do you care? Zach, as you may know, plays Spock in the Star Trek movies. When's the new one come out? Uh, May 17th, 2013. Okay, great. Let's see if anyone cares that this is Spock. You ready, Zach? Sure. Okay, put your running shoes on. Let's go. Here we go. Sir, 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 sir. It's Spock. Do you care? It's Spock. Do you care? I don't know him. Oh, he doesn't know him. Oh, goodbye. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's Spock. Oh, sir, sir, it's Spock. Do you care? It's Spock. I see that it's Spock. Okay, let's go. Great, great. Let's go, Zach. Let's go. Oh, miss. Miss, miss, it's Spock. Do you care? No. No, no. Oh, miss, it's Spock. Do you care? Who's Spock? Oh, my God. Let's go, Zach. Oh, God. No one cares about Spock. What the f is wrong with you people? Miss, miss, it's Spock. Do you care? Yeah, not so much. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, maybe she saw a margin call. Miss, miss, it's Spock. It's Spock, do you care? Oh my god. Hey. Okay, Hi. okay all right, keep walking, let's go. Sir, it's Spock, it's Spock. Who's Spock? Oh my god, let's go. Jesus, no one tell Rabbi J.J. Abrams about this. Oh, sir, it's Spock, it's Spock, do you care? At all. Okay, all right. Miss, it's Spock. Whoa. Oh god. Oh, sir, 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 it's Spock, do you care? Not really. Okay, all right, okay, let's keep going. No one cares. No one cares. God, look, now there's no one even on the street. They heard you were here, they all left. Miss, miss, it's Spock, do you care? It's Spock. Okay, wow, not pleasant. Wasn't a pleasant exchange. Oh, sir, it's Spock, it's Spock. It's Spock from Star Trek. It's not Spock. Okay, he said, <laughs> he said it's not Spock. It's not Spock, he said. Oh, oh. Sir, it's Spock. How you doing? Good, good, how are you? Good, nice to meet you, nice. big fan. Oh, yeah. We got someone. Yeah. You care about Spock? Yeah, well, I liked him on Heroes, too. Oh, God, come on, let's get out of here. <laughs>
Okay, guys, now it's time for me to answer questions you've tweeted me at Billy Eichner on Twitter. Here we go. Kelsey Gilmore tweets me at Billy Eichner, do you ever want to tell Ann Curry to just shut the f*** up? Well, NBC already did that for me, Kelsey. What else do you want me to tell them to do that they already did? Give more episodes to the new normal? Make Dak Shepard a star? Jesus! This next tweet comes from Allison Flood at Food Slice. Billy Eichner, if you and Meryl were on a double date, who would the other couple be and why? Obviously, the other couple would be Rita Wilson and her husband, Tom Hanks. Why? Because they love fun and they get along great with you as long as at least one of you is famous. We'd go to Panera Bread. He's making dreams come true.